everybody. How's it going? Brand new Danny here, and I've got the kitty with me. Say hi. We were just hanging out, and I wanted to let you know that I'm in countdown mode. I'm in countdown mode because in 15 days, that's when I'll be starting hormone replacement therapy. So I'm smiling about that, but I'm also really, really nervous. And I wanted to document the countdown process because I think this is all valuable. I'm scared. What's scary is the unknowns, um, the irreversible changes, the things that are going to become a certain way that I will not be able to necessarily revert back to my old physical self if I wanted to. In addition to the fear of the unknown and the irreversible side effects is the effect that it's gonna have on my relationships and the effect that it's gonna have on my partnership. And with my family, um, there's just no way to know how this stuff's going to play out. And that's scary. But I feel like if this were the wrong decision, um, whatever that means, I wouldn't have come this far, if that makes sense. I wouldn't still be trying. I wouldn't still be looking for ways around all the roadblocks. And, um, you know, I've been questioning for a long, long, long time. I've been questioning this and, um, you know, not pulling any kind of trigger for one reason or another, but the road like keeps coming back here and to me that says something <laughs> of importance right yeah does your foot taste good what if we did that what if i was just all of a sudden like hang on a sec guys so i talked about this a little bit in my name change video and the whys about why i decided to go through with a name change that, you know, I said I thought about actually d dying and, you know, having the name on my birth certificates, like, still being used. <laughs> um, and I just couldn't, that idea broke me. So that's when I decided, like, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna let that continue or I'm not gonna let that happen, right? In the same way, that's how I decided to pursue this. I imagined a 40-year-old me and a 50-year-old me and a 60-year-old me not having tried HRT, imagining the 40, 50, 60-year-old me still wondering, like still wondering, man, should I have tried to do that when I, when you were younger? Should I, should I have gotten over my fears then? And looking back with regret, that's, that's what pushed me to the ledge that I'm at now was honestly the fear of regret is is bigger than any fear. And when the fear of regret seems larger than the fear of the potential changes, which I might even like, let's stop and consider that for a second. This might be a positive thing in my life, right? <laughs> Go figure. I'm scared. <laughs> Just keep cycling through that emotional merry-go-round. Or it's more like, what's that other thing? What's that, like, um, Ferris wheel? It's like that. It's more like a Ferris wheel. It's more like a high-low type of cycle where I'm, like, pumped and energized and confident, and then... <sighs> Fearful, lonely, questioning, unsure, um, like low self-esteem and self-sabotage. This whole gender concept is a really tricky thing. On one hand, I'm grateful to be exploring it, but then some days I'm like, why? <sighs> you know, why me? And I can't believe that people think that this is something that people choose. I can't believe that there's people out there who go, you know, oh, that's a lifestyle choice. Um, really? 
I'd rather not. Like, I'd rather know what it feels like to wake up and look in the mirror and, like, understand that that's my body and it makes sense. Um, kitty. I can hold the kitty. Look, I can scoop the kitty. So if you have any advice for me, <laughs> a non-binary identifying human being who's 15 days away from starting a low dose of testosterone, let me know. Let me know if you've gone through this and what helped you, what comforted you, maybe how you knew that you were sure, how did your friends and family support you if they did, and... Um, Maybe what I can expect in the next 15 days and, and thereafter. Because we need each other, for sure. Which is why I'm sharing this series in the first place. Because <sighs> we really do need each other. Right, babes? Thank you so much for watching. If you subscribe to this channel, I'll be posting more and more of these videos um, so you can keep up with the progress of my transition, my hormone replacement therapy, and uh, more details about how I recovered from top surgery naturally and without any narcotic pain meds. So please keep in touch, leave your questions down below in the comments, and definitely hit that subscribe button. Thank you.